the gut microbiome of patients who struggle with obesity. And if you give them the gut microbiome through a fecal transplant of somebody at healthy weight, they lose weight, which is fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. And of course that flows through to our brain health. So we know an unhealthy gut, if you're very stressed, if you have anxiety or even brain fog, then a healthier gut is going to, again, flow through to less of those issues. 90% of our serotonin, our happy hormones, are made, it is made in our gut, so not in our brains. So what you feed your gut, I always say your gut is your second brain. What you feed your gut matters in terms of mood and um, brain health. And you know, particularly for women who are struggling with um, mood symptoms and brain fog around the time of menopause, I think it's very, very important to think about what you're feeding that second brain. 